Um, in more national news, a little more current, uh, you may have heard of Jason Collins and Michael Sam. Collins currently plays for the Brooklyn Nets, and Sam will likely be drafted into the NFL this year. What these two men have in common, outside of their superior athleticism, is that they are both openly gay. Collins is the first publicly gay athlete to compete in the NBA, and Sam could be the first active player in the NFL to have come out publicly as gay. So with these two national examples, we investigated what life is like here at Yale for openly gay athletes. Reporters Alero Egbe and Michael Leopold bring us more. With a nickname like the Gay Ivy, it seems Yale would be a haven for gay athletes. But it might not be that simple. Senior Cole Flory is the only openly gay athlete on the men's swimming and diving team. And when Maria Templer arrived here to work with the LGBTQ office, there were no openly gay athletes on any team. How many out athletes do you have? Oh, we don't have any right now. Oh, well how many have you had in the past few years? Oh, we haven't actually had any out athletes on this team in a few years, but if they were there, I'm sure they would feel comfortable. And I just sort of said, you know, it's kind of not a great sign. One of the issues that they said really makes people feel like it's not safe to come out is that there are um, uh, uses of um, the word faggot and gay in ways that um, a gay person might find hostile. But on teams with gay athletes like Yale men's swimming and diving team, offensive language is simply not tolerated. Sometimes people come in uh, and they'll kind of, they'll say, you know, usual kind of slurs and things like that, and that got stopped almost immediately. While the swimming and diving coaches could not be reached for comment, Captain Edward Becker emphasized that its members are teammates first and foremost. We've really developed kind of a close-knit uh, group, and that way, you know, you can really define personal relationships, uh, so you know someone as a person uh, long before they come out. Diver Cole Flory was out his freshman year before joining the team as a sophomore. I think a lot of people on the team either knew or just sort of assumed. That might be why Flory's life as a gay athlete at Yale has gone smoothly. In like team conversations, like team like hot seat and tough stuff like that, like I just told people, I think I said one time, like, you can ask me the same exact questions you can ask anyone else. Like, cool. And it went from there. You have made my role on the team like I am the same as everyone else I don't need extra support I don't need less support I am me and that's fine and I am confident and that's great and I think everybody respects that this is good news for Maria Templer's office who has tried to create an athletic community where issues are addressed and prevented before they can build we haven't had yet a transgender varsity athlete um, but Amy and I have worked to make sure that should we have one I can't promise that everything is in place, but many, many things are in place. With an office dedicated to ensuring seamless transitions for LGBTQ athletes on campus, and captains and teammates committed to respectful language, positive inter-team relationships, and, well, pride, Yale may soon see more and more of its athletes out and proud. For YTV, this has been Michael Leopold and Alero Agbe. Cole just finished his final season with the team, which placed fourth in this week's weekend's Ivy League tournament.